This time, I was randomly joking with a person on my Discord about cre creating some sort of a 600 horsepower front wheel drive car or something like that. And what he did, he literally did exactly that. Why not? Props to uh, Morgan slash Etchy um, on my Discord. Why not? Just pure why not, honestly. It's something out of the ordinary, something really weird, something random. I want to do that. I really want to do that. I like everything that's wacky. So, yeah, the problem is I was missing some mods and everything. Therefore, not everything is here and not everything seems to be properly working. Mo firstly, most uh, it was all because if we go back to this tab, the game completely forgot. Um, the aging placement position just it disappeared so yeah I'm gonna need to like almost kind of finish the build of this myself which is a bit bad at least everything in the engine is completely sorted by him thank you but I need to finish this and not because I wanted to but because importing fucked up so yeah Front wheel drive, you got that going. You gotta come the, you gotta keep this base idea. And well, let's give it the sequential. I don't think this thing is supposed to have anything proper. It's built in 2020, yes. Um, well, fuck, gearing and everything. I don't know. I kind of re would require him to be next to me to like answer everything, how everything is supposed to go on this. Let's quickly add some rear lights, some tail lights. I guess those are missing by, by like missing mods instead of actual import, instead of having an actual import failure. But this, I'm just gonna go with something that might fit. Maybe. Yeah, that's, that's good enough for now. Okay, never mind. Let's go back to technical. Most likely sports compound for something like this. Arches are wide enough. Well, let's go with some ridiculous. Okay, not that ridiculously wide tires. <laughs> something like that, yeah. <laughs> okay, no fucking clue. This thing is not meant to be reasonable, so yeah. This will be interesting to drive. No, well, maybe actually, but it's front wheel drive, so front should have pretty wide tires. Let's actually lower it a bit, like two twenties all over it. Should be okay-ish, maybe. I don't know. I really don't know. Some proper brakes, sorta-ish. A pretty sporty pad type. Hopefully it's gonna work. Maybe I don't know. So like semi clad, I guess. Oh my god, everything's like removed. All the stats. Fuck. I'm so. I really don't want to fuck up this car. <laughs> Cause it was a funny joke. Like why not? But, okay. How does that even supposed to work? What the fuck game? Okay, it showed like there's another row of seats there. Sport with, I don't know, premium HUD, maybe. Power steering. Sure, mm, just ABS, because who gives a shit about that? Standard 2010s. Springs. Now I have no idea what kind of springs this was supposed to have. I guess let's go with like active sport. And adaptive. And let's tune it for sport. Now I need to re completely retune this thing. So it's actually somewhat drivable. Okay, increasing camber ridiculously kinda helps, kinda not. Moving front sway bar also kinda helps. It's front wheel drive, it will have understeer. That's that's expected. Okay, this is like getting scary if it like would handle like this. 
Um, well, let's give it a shot. Fuck do I know, honestly, at this point. Mm, drive train, let's rework everything. Need way more overdrive. Way more overdrive. So it's actually somewhat okay -ish to do. First gear up to 160. Oh wait, right, it's a 600 horsepower car. So I gotta expect a lot of wheel spin. I'm stupid. Let's let's make it like something as stupid as this, maybe, perhaps? Or maybe I should just tune it for maximum acceleration. 5.3 seconds. Well, maximum acceleration this can output. So, like that. I don't think I'm gonna get any better acceleration with having like a full-on interior and everything. But I wanna remove, reduce the spacing so it's a bit more drivable while maintaining a reason, like pretty quick acceleration of 5.3 apparently so far. It's a bit too much. Come on. There we go. Oof. This is gonna be hard to drive. Alloy rims. So the brakes are way too powerful already. Okay. Can like reduce that significantly. That's still even too powerful. So we're gonna like have drum brakes in the back. Okay. And front brakes, let's just reduce the grip a bit. Oh wait, sportiness. Okay, drum we got to reduce, let's go back to solid disc, increase pretty big ass brakes, flip the brake bias like that, so it's like barely any braking force, and so we don't have bra much brake fade either. Okay, let's go with vented disc, okay that even creates even more brake fade, okay. Oh. I don't want ridiculous break breaking up like breaking problems. Okay, let's go with six piston. Yeah. <laughs> Over the top brakes. <laughs> nah, let's still be let's keep it reasonable. Somewhat. But I don't want the brake fade, but I don't I want this car to handle somewhat decently as well. This is gonna be bad. This is gonna be ridiculous amounts of brake fade. Unless like... Oh, okay, let's increase pad type to something more crazy. Though that's probably not gonna change much to be honest, because I will need to reduce brake size. I uh, will be back at the previous problem. So let's actually let's do it like this. Okay, that doesn't help, help much either. Back to 55. Okay, pretty bad brake fade. Let's try to drive it like this. Aerodynamics. Rear wing angle probably needs some of that, so that the car actually handles a bit. Let's check out the handling stats. Fuck do I know, honestly, at this point? I have never built something as stupid as this. But I guess this should be okay-ish. Kinda-ish. I don't know. I want to see it go. I honestly just want to drive it and then can probably fix problems from there. That should fix majori majority of problems. Maybe, perhaps. There's a chance. Also, I don't... Have I selected that I can broadcast my desktop? Because the stream will automatically end if I... If I, let's say... Um, what, what was the thing? Oh, nope, that's not what I'm looking for. Never mind. Let's hope it continues, otherwise the stream would end if I close the game. Okay, it's not ending. Okay, good, good, good. Beam and G, let's see this shit drive. 
Honestly, I shouldn't really call it shit because the dude actually put a lot of, but put quite a bit of effort in it. But it's me fine tuning it, so it's probably shit. Okay, let's see. Free roam. Where can I actually prop the Tresterak? Yeah. Okay. This is gonna go downhill real quick. Mm. Still willing to see how badly it's gonna go. Or how weird it's going to be to handle. Because I made the gearing like it would be a tuned car. But having a gearbox for some for the original car itself. I would really need to retune it, with, uh, which would have a loss, a lot less wheel spin if that would come out of a factory. So this can go two ways. Well, let's see how badly it drives right now. What? Wow. Okay. Thought for a second it's winter. It's taking forever to load in the map. Sure, why not? So okay, let's go with this. I want to see how weird lead handles. Come on, give me my car. Whoa. Okay, that's a mean sound. But why... Why is everything so slow? Why does it rev up so slowly? Oh my god! The turbo lag, it's the turbo lag. Okay, got it. Bit of laggy. Okay, okay. No, 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 no. On back on the road. Okay, if you apply gas, it it just goes straight, it doesn't steer. If you let go of the gas while steering, it actually steers. Oh my god, the turbo lag actually unleashes all 600 horsepower. But that's because of the turbo and its lag. But other than that, this random weird ass tune is actually kind of drivable. Yeah, there are all 600 horsepower. Oh my god, it's quick. Please, you can take this corner. I, I, I braked for it a bit. My driving skills are crap, but okay, I did it. Okay, this actually worked out. Why is this thing okay to drive? I mean, if it would have less turbo lag, it would be nicer. But it also kind of helps this car steer at the same time. And it wouldn't have, and it wouldn't be able to accelerate at all if it had no turbo lag. Oh my god, brake fading, yep. I was not able to tune that out that easily. The brake fading is really showing already, even in Beamer and G. So maybe having turbo lag kinda helps this thing, otherwise it would be undrivable. It's bouncing around a bit, because I keep applying gas and steering at the same time. And it does not steer when you're applying gas. But then again, it would be drivable if it had no turbo lag and proper gearing. So this is a real debate. That would probably be the best way how to build this thing. I mean, best way would be this thing not having 600 horsepower. I mean, that's what makes this thing interesting. Oh shit, not gonna be able to stop for this. Because the brakes are like almost totaled. Yeah, this needs to be, the engine needs to be retuned with like, even if it has less horsepower, but no tur almost like barely any turbo lag, this would be a really cool sports car. Well, at this point, track car. I would at least call the track car. Just a bit more work into it, and this would be pretty damn cool. Oh 
also like the exhaust from the sides. And I, I need to figure out how to, mm, like, balance out the brakes with having decent braking force and not fading like crazy. Let's see how fast I can take this corner. Like going almost full speed. Oh, losing a bit of grip. What? Oh my god, it took that. Nice. Oh god, now I have no brakes. Almost. Oh, I did manage to break this. Oh, shit, 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 shit. Steer. Yes, nice. Plus, if you put the rear wing, instead of a rear rim and adding like a lip spoiler on the back, this would look pretty fucking good. Because these headlights, well, obviously not made for this. Wow, the brakes are not working. That was pedal to the metal for when it comes to braking. <laughs> this is funny to Xoda because it doesn't go anywhere. Oh, it just goes in a straight line. It's a drag car at this point. Okay. Oh my god, the reverse slides are... Oh, that was not what I intended to do. I'm just burn out all the time. Oh, it has a lot of grip on the front. Now I want to do... Reverse donuts. We. Now forwards to victory. <laughs> okay, this is rather funny. Kind of like it, kind of don't. I mean, I personally, oh, in general, don't like front wheel drive much, but this is pretty fun. But God, the turbo lag. I sh I could make like an episode where I kind of fix this or work on it a lot more. Or the creator could help me out and try to work on it. But again, I need to like really balance this shit out on my own because importing kind of fucked up. Anyway, enough of this car and something a bit more when it comes to channel updates and so on. Yeah, I know, I've been really super inactive. But I can't really do much about it, because my work is not exactly killing me, but taking like 80% of my life right now. Because during winter, I just have a massive increase of actual work itself of what to do during the winter season. And then, well, yeah, I barely have time to do on my own, plus I'm trying to kind of live a life, so adding YouTube on that is a bit hard. And if somebody might ask, well, why did I try starting a channel in the first place if I have no time for it? Well, I did start it when it was summer season where I have actually a small amount of work at my workplace. So I had quite a bit of free time. So yeah, I kind of had time for this. But right now this is, this is a bit debatable. I guess I will become a lot more active when winter actually ends. But... That doesn't mean I'm gonna. But that doesn't mean I'm currently not gonna do anything till that. As as you can see, yes, it's like been a month, maybe more before when I made last video. But I'm trying. Okay, maybe. Maybe not exactly. I'm putting 100% of effort into creating videos in the first place. As what I meant to say is I'm not putting that much effort right now in YouTube itself. Because this is not the number one thing I have to do right now. So I cannot put all the effort. Or focus on it mostly. What else is more to say? Oh, talk, talking about user... Uh, oh my god, I have killed, killed the brakes. Talking about yeah, user submitted vehicles which are randomly driven. I will try to push out an episode of that as fast as possible in, in, well, anytime soon, I hope. Because I really don't want to see all the submitted vehicles go to waste. I really don't. I really enjoy driving all sorts of Aki cars. 
serious and even non-serious and when it comes to challenges well as you can see i'm not hosting anything right now because that takes a lot of time to review every single car but i gave um permission to huge hennis and ohm well mostly huge hennis over here to completely let's not exactly like control my discord channel but not far they're gonna be as you can see they're posting announcements of their own um, of, the, of his own challenges through my discord so it doesn't die of complete inactivity inactivity i forgot english again and hello morgan m oh it's you are driving your car well sadly i'm kind of on the and part of ending to drive this you will need to skip back a bit to see every to hear everything what i what i said about previously and what i did okay we <laughs> this is ridiculous and a wall, my bad. I suck at driving. Anyhow, to show all, and I mean, to show that I have not completely forgotten about this game and everything over here, I can show you some side projects I have been working on. People have heard uh, of me trying to make my own, let's say, lore factory, everything and so on. Therefore, I try to make vehicles. Um, vehicles around well era continuing how to say continuing uh, continue I forgot English for the third time fourth time I don't remember at this point um, trying to create a factory raw um, lore of my own vehicles and this is kind of the very first thing I built like a full-size family car and Morgan asked him what I did to it well, I can say it again, that importing kind of failed, or fucked up. Which means that, for some reason, it showed that the engine didn't fit, but I just clicked on the same button of putting the same engine position and it fit, fitted. But after that, everything completely disappeared from the tune. So I had to like randomly put on a tune myself of uh, what I kind of thought plus 50 percent randomness and just hopes for the best and as you can see it didn't really work out but i got the base idea and hello tofik as well so that car is fun but it needs to be seriously changed but that's mostly because of me because importing failed so i had to like out of my randomly tune it myself out of the blue Anyhow, continuing with this story lore idea. Yeah, this is supposed to be the very first car made made by my factory. And you're going to send your export? Yeah, sure, go ahead. If you can send me the car file... No, wait, not the car file. Well, and the RAR file to, um, to straight import it and exp well, put it in, into Beam and G. That doesn't really work either. Because it's too big for Discord to manage. But if you somehow manage to get the export file to me, that actually is working, recognizes everything, I will gladly test that thing again. Anyhow, continuing with this weird thing again. Yeah, this is supposed to be the very first vehicle built. Oh my god, I can't drive. Um, anything special? No. Trying to go for slightly European themed of lower engine volumes unlike Americans and kind of classifying the cars as BMW does this being the most weakest of this exact series straight from straight from 1949 no, it's optimized for basic family utility like family utility budget I believe I already kind of forgot but this is a really basic, boring vehicle. Nothing to it. Nothing really to it. Then just has a couple of engine variants. 
of two point like that was two point two point oh liter then there's like a two point three liter and I believe there's a two point eight somewhere yeah two point eight all all engines being straight fours <laughs> so not nothing massive nothing crazy still main purpose of this is supposed to be a family car back in nineteen forty six whoa okay has a bit of bit of torque for 2.8 liter because why not oh something messaged me on discord i assume it's morgan with an export file so i probably should stop blabbering about these shitty vehicles i have made because pretty sure nobody's interested in that i will actually post the whole factory lore and everything separately on a sep separate like text channel on my discord so this is like not important right now let's quickly go and check over here Oh, okay, it's a whole zip file. That's nice. Well, don't mind if I download it on the stream. I will need to close this. So, yeah, let me download that. Actually, I'm really curious of driving you that vehicle you created. So, I'm taking that. Where is mods folder? No need that. Documents. BMG No Is it like this? No Oh, over here I'm stupid So I'm gonna delete the previous thing Which I had to out Like randomly tune on my own And input This here Okay Let's try this now Should be quite a bit different maybe i'm curious it's pretty fun for 600 horsepower front wheel drive well hope it is i had a bit of fun driving what i built well sort of ish i built i tune let's say that was still pretty interesting so you have probably as i assume you have um, built this very like actually properly so can't wait to drive that it's automatic Sure, why not, I guess. Come on, load in. Please, maybe. Anyhow, the stream is gonna end, like, pretty soon. Because this is, this is... I'm hoping this to be, like, more of a video. Like, edited video length. But apparently not gonna work out, so... Gonna end up in somewhere in the middle. Just gonna start with this weird card and end it, end with it. So where is it? Over here. Oh, probably all the. Um, not, I forgot. The fixtures are going to stay. Yep. Okay, there's a, still a bit of turbo lab, but not as bad as probably what I had. Yeah, nowhere near. This is no turbo lag at all, almost. Oh, right, I forgot that it's automatic. I'm... I need this gun. Okay, kind of hard to take the corner. Oh god, the brakes are so powerful! I was not expecting that that powerful brakes, but that's how they should be for a sports car. You're accelerating, it just burns rubber. Oh my god, I keep pressing the brake pedal way too hard. Well, let's see how fast it goes in a straight line. lag by the game, thank you. Oh shit. Okay, now I'm gonna please take this corner. Holy shit, it's pretty well optimized and built. Nice. Oh no 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 balls. And that that hopefully didn't do much damage. 
walked off the wheels and just went completely off the track. Oh, this has heat. Oh, the newly exported cars. Oh my god. No, 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 stay away from the wall. Well, I fucked up. I can't drive. I personally can't drive. That's my problem, my own problem. And as I can see with the newer update of automation, they are adding engine heat into the game and exhaust smoke. That's really cool. The problem, problem is the exhaust smoke comes only from one of the exhausts. But that's... But that's really nice to see progress in the exporting improvements. Okay, this is pretty cool to drive, I like this. It's a front wheel drive car and I usually hate them, but this is fun. Oh my god, if only I could drive it. I can't apply brakes properly. Like, I really can't brake. But this is fun. Let's see if I can take this corner in insane speed again. 250, let's go of the gas. Turn, 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 turn. Gas again. Oh, hell yeah. This is a track car. Oh, no, no. Why do you do that? Oh, well, fuck. I'm not the smartest person, nor the best driver. But, ah, oh, this is fun. I want to take it to a different place. Whoa. Yeah. Let's see. Let's ignore that. I want to take it to the handling circuit. Wait, I was supposed to drive off there. Or here. Wow, it really pulls to the left when you, like, block off the brakes. Crap car, not a track car. No, this is actually not crap. This is pretty fun. <laughs> like, I can guarantee this. If you get to drive this, this is pretty fun. And for 600 horsepower front wheel drive car, like, front wheel drive, that much horsepower. Imagine how would that handle. This is pretty good. <laughs> Of course, it still has the issues of, of every front-wheel drive car, but that was the point of this stupid idea. To try to bypass that. And make a car that's actually really powerful, but all, but maintaining it to, like, well, drive, drive quality. And this dude succeeded. Morgan really succeeded with this. It's just me who can't drive. This would make some really f r nice records. This could be a hill climb car, actually. Oh, fuck! Try using hand right? No, I can't. But this, is, this really could be an interesting hill climb car. Handbrake corners, oh sh shit. Oh, no, 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 it pulled too much. This is a death trap if you want to, like, do corners with a handbrake. Well, maybe because I can't do it properly, but uh, that's re it's really hard to predict. Well, I can try doing this with a handbrake. Then it just turns into massive wheel, amount of wheel spin. Oh, balls. But the amount of grip it has is insane. <laughs> Come 
Oops. I need to stop looking at the chat. I mean, it's small corner. Oh well, yeah, in small corners, of course. Why have it pulled straight? I do 90 degree di drifts with this thing almost. <laughs> almost. I'm sorry, I'm not the best driver, but just I'm just having fun right now. This trap corner. No. Oh. The front lip is pretty... Oh, I thought you can go through that. The front lip is really cool. <laughs> I'm killing myself. Oh shit. This is a bit too dangerous. <laughs> oh, I'm dead, I'm dead. Yeah, that was way too fast for that. It's still one piece, kinda. The wheel, amount of wheel spin in this. You can take corners so quickly if you apply handbrake and everything. It's probably if you drive quicker, if you drive properly, okay. At 9,000, like maximum horsepower, maximum RPM, okay. And it's using drag slicks. Oh, yeah. <laughs> It needs every bit of grip. Oh shit. Oh no 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 no. Okay, if like I'm not at this point I'm taking every corner with handbrake just because it's fun. <laughs> That was no handbrake, that was weight transfer all, all the... But the gear... Oh, fuck! Okay, I trashed this a bit too much, I need a new one. But, yeah, the, the gear... Sport 1, 2... Yeah... Doesn't really help with the revs. No, 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 no. The gearbox doesn't switch gears fast enough. It needs manual. Oh fuck, I killed myself. Yeah, I'm done. <laughs> Look, this is actually a pretty successful build, I would say. This is cool. That I qualify to build 600 horsepower front wheel drive cars. No idea why would you want to build one uh, when it comes to like actually using it instead of being being a stupid suggestion. But you can do that. There's an exit. There was an exit over here. A 
Okay, I got our gonna probably should probably end this soon. Last two last couple of corners. It's just wheel spins 24-7. Wall tap. We <laughs> the insane amount of grip on some tires. You like pull out from a from a perfect spin out. Like in a situation where it's like certainly that's gonna be a spin out. Nah, you pull it out. Like reverse entry. <laughs> That was a bit too close. I actually want to try doing like an almost reverse entry drift <laughs> corner. It's not really a drift, it's like a power slide because it's front wheel drive. Kinda? Kinda not? Okay, no, that was the wrong way. First entry there. Oh no. No, this is gonna be bad. That would not have worked out and it didn't. <laughs> okay, I need to stop doing this. This, this was actually a really cool cool thing to drive like thank you for watching this is the end like really cool build dude really cool actually